What is an AC count? Why is AC power needed in a substation? What are some examples of equipment that draw AC power? This is what we'll attempt to answer and more in this video. Welcome to my channel. My name is Daniel and I'm an electrical engineer based in Texas. On this channel, we dive deep into substation design, engineering, and career development. Let's jump into the video. What is the purpose of an AC count? To answer this, I want to show you something my house and your house has that can help you understand this. Go to the closest transmission pole. There you will find the lines coming from a transformer that connect to your house. Here's what mine looks like. You can see these lines connect from the transformer to my house and go into my main panel. I bring this up because the purpose of an AC calc is to size the transformer, or in the substation world, an SST, station service transformer, and the conductor and protection downstream. Now that we understand what the purpose of an AC calc is, let's explore why AC power is needed in a substation. AC power is needed in a substation to provide power to station auxiliary loads. The next question from here is what are station auxiliary loads? Station auxiliary loads include HVAC, lighting, security, pumps, fans, motors, and DC system charging. And if you think about it, this makes sense. Your house requires AC power for all these components mentioned minus the DC system charging. By the way, keep an eye out for future videos on why DC power is used in a substation. Let's talk about a typical AC auxiliary system. Quick summary of what we're looking at. From the top down, we have our sources we are receiving AC power from. In this example, you can see that both sources are 13.8 kV and our SSTs are stepping the voltage down to 240, 120 voltage. Then it comes down to a transfer switch that can either be automatic or manual. In my experience, I have only seen automatic. By the way, what transfer switches do is in the name. In the event there's a fault on the primary source feed to the SST, the ATS automatic transfer switch will switch to the secondary source to keep power flowing. Finally, it continues downstream to the main panel, control house, and yard panel. And by the way, all the auxiliary loads mentioned connect to either the yard panel or the control house panel. What do we need to perform the AC calc? First, you're going to need an Excel spreadsheet to capture all the different load types and load sizes. Unless you're working at a startup, I assure you that either A, the client has a template spreadsheet that they want you to start from, or B, coworkers can give you one that they already created. In my case, as long as we're doing a job that follows our client standards, then we can refer to client guides that generalize loads. The client I serve has a spreadsheet with common loads for devices such as breakers, PTs, junction box heaters, HVACs, and so on. Most of these devices have pre-populated loads since they are standard items. So to the answer the question what you're going to need to perform the AC calc, first, you're going to need that template spreadsheet. Second, you will need to know all devices that need AC power in your substation. And third, you will need to know how much current each device pulls. You can find the values of these devices on their manufacturer's websites. Once again, more than likely someone has a completed AC calc that you can refer to as a go-by. Now, keep in mind, I don't expect you to be able to do an AC calc after watching this. The point of this video was to get you to see a high-level picture of what an AC calc is. And now that you at least know what the purpose is, the hope is that you will know enough to ask the right questions. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you found the information in this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. As always, I'm here to help with any career-related questions you may have in the field of electrical engineering. If you like this breakdown, check out my substation configuration playlist where I talk about different substation schemes. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.